dollars sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen, welcome to the Chief A Marshal on your number one podcast show in the land, the Ola7 podcast show. And welcome to the Genius Kids, one of my favorite segments, and it is an exciting edition, one you know of the best exciting editions trust me you're gonna have so much fun here on the genius kids show and today we've got another apple that didn't fall far from you know the tree he is into acting and modeling just like the dad you know it's none other than ui chizonga yeah that's uh, right um muya chizonga's uh, son and welcome to the show uh D -Y. thank you for having me and you know i'm just like okay this is an actor model my brother how do you do it how are you doing it? how are we managing it um it's a bit hard but i overcome it you overcome it mm -hmm. okay great so tell us how old are you and what position are you in the family i'm eight years old and i'm the middle child out of three out of three you're in grade what uh four grade four wow you look you look more like your dad do you know that everyone tells me exactly <laughs> as everyone tells me that that's very true so do you have friends and uh, and um i mean who are they um one is called uh tyler mm -hmm. the other one's called mukundi and the last one's called connor mm. and so what do you do during your your play time well we usually just play soccer mm -hmm. soccer you love soccer yes. and you play number one I don't know what number. You know the positions like there is a midfielder, there's a wing, there's a defender here, there's a striker there. So you just play random yeah, soccer. I just play random. Oh, okay. At your at your place. At my school. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's great. So how does your your brother support you in your talent? Um, very well actually. Mm -hmm. Like let's say I'm about to do an audition. Mm -hmm. He comes to me, gives me a big up, and says, "Good yes. luck." Wow. Yeah, just to cheer you up. Wow, I like that. <laughs> I like that. So, when did you start acting and um, and modeling? I started acting maybe at the age of six or seven, mm -hmm. uh, where I did my first audition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hey, six. When you were six. Or seven. Or seven. First audition. I can't imagine. And you know what? What inspired you to? I mean, to get into acting. To take after my dad. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to take after my dad. Wow. So, Mdara Munya, you know that Kutimasiya legacy and it will live long. It's in the safe hands. Like, look at this young boy here. You are doing the most. Like he said, to take after my dad. I like that. And he's, your dad is still fit and strong. He's still doing it and you're doing it as well. I'm like, okay, it's a family thing. And your mom is so talented as well. You know, she's an artist. So, I think it's, a um, you know, just an artist, artistic family, right? Right. And, um, you know, can you t uh, walk us through your first commercial acting and, you know, uh, what you learned from it? Well, 
My first commercial, the Aura one, was uh, very hard to do because of my own stunts. Mm -hmm. Where I did my own stunt, that was really hard. Yes. Yeah. That was, a, that was difficult, right? Mm, but mm. I did it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. And I did it anyway. I like that. So how do you choose uh, the roles that you, uh, you take on? I choose my roles by seeing something that's suitable for my age. Mm -hmm. I can say, okay, this one is not really good for my age, maybe for the 15-year-olds, or this one is like, okay, young boy like me, then you take that on up. Uh, so, uh, I mean, do you even know but there is some coaching here, here and there? Sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, just to uh, hype me up. Yes, but the rest you do it alone? Yeah. On your own? Least. Wow, I like that. So, what has been the most challenging part of your acting so far? Um, the most challenging part, I would say... Um, where I did my own stunt in the in mm -hmm. the Oracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was hard. That was hard. Take us through that. Yeah. What are the the, the, the the difficult parts? Trying to print, trying to pretend how to cry. Uh huh. It was hard. <laughs> to say, please to cry. Me, it like was. <laughs> but the, did you then do it? Yes. You managed to cry? Yes. Oh, at least <laughs> try to pretend. <laughs> no, no, guys, I'm a sport, guys. For you to cry, I would like to go to but just say, okay, start crying right now. But it's, it's okay. So have you ever turned, you know, uh, turned down a raw? And if so, why? No, I don't think I uh -huh. Because I think I'm still reaching new heights when it comes yes. to acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what acting methods or, or technique do you primarily use? Drama. Drama. All the time. Uh huh. Uh, drama all the way. Wow, I like that. That's a drama all the way. I'm talking to Niwai Chizonga, Munya Chizonga's son. You know, it's in their family. It's in their family. You know, guys, these kids are so amazing. Like I said, I love these kids and. I'm sure, guys, you, all, you can all attest. I'm sure that the talent in Zimbabwe, talent film industry is in the safe hands. If you have the likes of um, uh, EY, you know, on this platform, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. that's why it's about this platform to showcase what they can do. But towards the end of this show, I'm going to put EY on the spot to do something for us right away. And you got something because I know you are talented. You can do it. You can do it, man. So how do you approach developing a new character? I look at my scripts and I say, yeah, you are, you have to be this guy. Yeah. Act like this uh -huh. guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have to be this guy. Mm. So sometimes, okay, do you, do you understand the script from, from the onset or it's like, okay, you need some guidance here and there. I need some guidance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how long does it take? I mean, uh, sometimes nobody take take you to then say, okay, I'm now okay. I'm all ready to do this. Uh, usually, it takes me a bit of hours. Mm -hmm. or something. Hours. Yeah. Some take the, some take you know uh, years or ma I mean months. Sometimes would say, oh, I, I need to read and understand the script. But you're telling me of hours. Yeah, you sometimes. Are you are talented. Sometimes. You are, you are talented. I'm super proud of you. So can you describe a particularly, you know, um, a difficult scene and how you prepared for it? Um, where I had to take a picture with uh, a stranger in the, the old mutual modeling photo. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. Like, how can I smile to a stranger? <laughs> I don't know this person. Exactly, why, exactly. Why would I smile to him? Yeah. But, but, uh, <laughs> I like that. I don't know this person and why would I? But anyways, but you do it as well. Yes. Yeah, great. So what's, the, uh, what, what's your process for memorizing lines? Perfect. That should be difficult. Perfect practice makes perfect. Wow, perfect practice. Guys, are you guys taking notes? Are you guys taking notes? Okay, what's, what, what, what's your, your, your age, by the way? Uh, eight. Eight year old. Just imagine, I'm talking to an eight-year-old boy here in, I mean, the studio. Guys, guy, I'm just inspired. I'm just inspired. And who are your um, acting idols? There's Jackie Chan, my dad, Vin Diesel, and Tongai Chirisa. Tongai Chirisa. And the papa papa pa list my name is Did you want to go to the house? What are you doing? 
Okay. So how did your family and friends react to your decision when you when you got into into acting? They were shocked. They were like the little guys going for it. He's going to take after his dad. Exactly, exactly. So did they believe you even the mom did she believe that you were going to do it? Ah, she believed. Really? She did. Like okay, the energy the I sh- I'm, I'm sure she saw the the energy. So mm-hmm. oh, okay, let's let's try that. Wow. Yeah. So was there, you know, a pivotal moment uh, when you knew acting was your calling? When I first did my first uh, modeling thing in Old Mutual, that mm-hmm. was that was my calling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what was it? It was just um, uh, 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 modeling for pictures or what? Modeling for pictures. For pictures. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. For Old Mutual. Yeah. That's a big deal. Old Mutual you know, really pays. So did, did they give you, you know, good money? Yeah. What did you do with the money? Spent it to go uh, somewhere with my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, wow. So how do you balance your schoolwork, modeling, and acting? I don't know. That's that's hard, but I overcome it anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. So you spend your time like, okay, this is now time for books. This is now time for acting. This is now time for modeling. Yeah. Okay. So where do you see yourself in the future when it comes to acting? You know, uh, would like to be just like your dad. No, being with one of the greats, the great actors, and my dad. Mm, that's powerful. That's powerful. So modeling is also your calling, like you said earlier. Tell us, uh, how did you realize that, uh, you know, modeling is what you also wanted? Uh... Like I, I'm more of a photo. Du- I'm also a photo dude. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> you're photogenic. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right. What inspired you to start that? Uh, taking uh runway models like uh, David Beckham. Mm-hmm. Oh, like David Beckham, guys, guys, guys. So, anyways, guys. Yeah, I don't have anything to say. All right, it's okay. It's it's okay. <laughs> have you ever worked with uh, uh, any? Um, or have you ever worked as a runway model? Mm, no, I don't think I have. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Which brands do you dream of collaborating with? You know, in the future. Well, let's say Studio Universal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely, you you go there. Yes. Trust me. Yes. Definitely, I'm I'm declaring it right now on this podcast show that yes. you will make it to Studio Universal. Yes. Great. So, do you have any education or training related to to modeling? Um, like what? Like what do I learn from? Modeling? Yeah. That you can make new friends and learn new things about modeling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, I mean, do you have anyone who trains you? Uh, no. No? Yes. Okay. How do you handle rejection in the industry? I just get sad because I didn't get the job, but mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. job is a job. A <laughs> job is a job. Yeah. Uh, one thing I like about you, uh, Dewa, is that you are making money at the age of eight. Someone is waiting to start making money when they reach uh, to maybe... Um, maybe when they finish their university or uh, maybe when they finish their o, uh, and A level, but you're now making money at the age of eight. My brother, that's that's huge, man. That's huge. And uh, what is your favorite uh, model? I mean, who is your, your, your favorite model, by the way? I mean... Uh, one of my favorite models. Mm-hmm. Like I said, David Beckham. Mm-hmm. Yeah. David Beckham is your, is your favorite. Why David Beckham? I, I'm, I'm wondering. Because he's both a soccer star mm-hmm. and a runway model. Mm, I see. Now makes sense. So, what are your aspirations for your modeling career? Like inspirations. Mm-hmm. Like what do they teach me? Yes. Uh, uh, you can always take like photos with mm-hmm. some of the superstars. Yes. Yeah. One of the most difficult things is to prepare for a shoot. That's, a, I mean, very difficult. How do you prepare for a TV shoot? Perfect practice. As mm-hmm. I said, perfect practice makes perfect. Mm-hmm. So you always practice, yes. practice, practice, practice. Yes. Mm. Okay. Can you share some insights about the photos in your portfolio? 
uh, one of the insights. Um, there's like strangers that you meet, mm-hmm. but you just make friends with them after you've done mm-hmm. like a camera shot with the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you have like nice pictures at home? When like oh, when you like when you see them, you're like oh, okay. Not all of them are nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, not all of them are nice. <laughs> and not all of them are nice. So where do you see yourself in the future in terms of modeling? Taking photos with one one of the great models. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. With one, with, with one of the great models. Your hobbies include watching wrestling. What's your fav- favorite uh, move? Uh, the springboard moonsault. Mm-hmm. The springboard, I don't know. I don't know. How you, you say, which one is that? Uh, you jump on the top rope and then you do a backflip. You land on the person. Oh, that's the spring. You said you spring what? Spring road moonsault. Okay, I'm not a wrestling fan, by the way. That's why I'm struggling to understand even the terminology. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's still fine. So your hobby, I mean, your, um, who, who, who is your... Um, your 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 all time favorite WWE wrestler and why? I only know of um, John Cena and who else? You're lucky because that's one of my favorite. Oh, John Cena. Yeah. Really? Is he still you know doing well? Uh, a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I won't go raw these days. Mm. does it back in. I go. But uh, right now, who do you say? Who, who did you say this one is is the best at the moment? Uh, go WWE. Is it okay if I say two? Yeah, oh, it's fine. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior and John Cena. Mm, Ultimate Warrior yeah. and John Cena. Yeah. But who is doing well these days? John Cena. John Cena is doing well. Yes. Okay. No, that's fine. So, do you prefer the heroes' uh, faces or or the the, the villain? Some villains I like, but mm-hmm. mostly the heroes. The heroes. Mm. All right, all right. What's the most epic match you've seen in WWE uh, history? Uh, Ultimate Warrior against the Honky Tonk Man. Mm. Yes. The Honky Tonk Man. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate if you watch um, wrestling, if you watch WWE, WrestleMania, WWE, whatever, you know. <laughs> You need to read, and going to fight. So, in Deutsche Kaku, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. And they, 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 they put that disclaimer. They say, don't try this at home. Mm. So, I'm like, ah, so, why should I watch it if I cannot practice, if I cannot do it at home? Then I was like, ah, I don't want to be just living. But you, uh, you watch wrestling. Do you also uh, see yourself one day in the ring? Yes. Do you, being a wrestler? Yes. Oh, <laughs> It's the way she's on top now. It is, uh, okay, try to to be a commentator. Uh, I'm not good at commentating. <laughs> I'm not good at uh, commenting. You know, it's fine. So, uh, if you were to get the chance to watch it live, how would you feel? The happiest man alive. Hmm? Huh? I'd be very happy. The Digitzonga, please try and make this happen. It is everyone who is on board. It uh, live. So do you know that wrestling is scripted? I know that it's scripted, but that that's what makes it more fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what keeps you hooked despite knowing the outcomes? All of the stories that they bring mm-hmm. is amazing. Okay. So if you could create your own wrestling character, what would their persona be like? Uh, the drama guy. The drama guy? Yeah. <laughs> As the drama guy, I like that. So what words of advice would you like to give to young, talented kids, you know, uh, like you watching the show? Um, if you, let's say bullies are picking on you and they say you won't be an actor when you grow up, mm-hmm. believe, no matter what, believe mm-hmm. that you can and mm. you will... Uh, succeed in mm-hmm. it. Believe that you can. So in other words, you're saying don't take that, uh, you know, um, um, criticism, you know, it should just pull you back. 
Mm, that's very, very powerful. So before we close, maybe you've got something that you want to share with us on this platform. Just top of your head. Mm, no, I don't think I have anything to say. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, your dad is watching right now. What would you like to say to him? Please take me to watch WWE Live, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> WWE, did you please make a plan. Please, please, please make a plan so that I and the unknown are the, are the show. So, like I said earlier on, I'm going to put you on the spot to do maybe a, a, a bit of, you know, something for us. So, I'm going to give you um, something. I'm, I'm trying to think. I could talk about which role to play. Um, wait, wait, what? In a movie or? Yeah, I think a, a movie. Oh. Are you com are comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, in, in a movie, you are like uh, you're playing a role of a child who's been abandoned by the the parents. You know, at a very young age, probably nine months, and you're now eight years old, and you're wondering where your parents are. So I'll give you probably a minute to do it. That's his, that's that's the storyline. That's the storyline. Yeah, yeah. The child who's been you know abandoned. That's gonna parent. actually be one of my first times doing. I mean, acting mm -hmm. in a movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll mm -hmm. do it if I can. Mm -hmm. But if I can't, then. Uh, so can you can you try it right now? Mm. That put you on the spot. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I can't. So what do you think you can do for us now? Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Mama is saying he's giving you a sign. Mama is giving you a sign. <laughs> oh. Yeah? You can't see me. You can't see me, <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> because you love WWE, okay? So thank you so much, DY, for coming to the show and um, hoping to see you again soon. Very right? Soon. Yeah. And that's uh, DY Chizonga, Munya Chizonga's uh, son, you know, and he's talented, guys. He's a model, he's into acting. Oh, so you guys, my producers, if you are looking for someone uh, to play a role of a young guy, whatever, there you go. Ari Bumkomana to do the show, to do it. Take it away. I'm, I'm there to take it after my dad. So thank you so much, Uncle Moya, for doing this. Because international stuff, international level. So I have to just applaud you for that. Well done. Uh, well done, um, Dada Moya. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the show. I've come to an end. But that was a lovely show. I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you know of any kids who are talented, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us so that they can come and showcase whatever they can do on this platform. My name is DJ Ola 7 where Kwa Madondo, the Chief A Marshal. Until next time, bye-bye. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. 
our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.